parietal epithelium of Bowman capsule. This is the parietal epithelium of Bowman's capsule here and along here. The screen that covers the capillaries is the visceral epithelium of Bowman's capsule. This is the glomerular capillaries, or the glomerulus. Again, here, the green is covering the glomerulus here. This green here is called the visceral epithelium of Bowman's capsule. This is called the parietal epithelium of Bowman's capsule. This represents the afferent arterial, which takes blood into the glomerulus. Leaving the glomerulus is the efferent arterial. The filtrate filters through here into the proximal convoluted tubule. And this is also the proximal convoluted tubule with the blue microvilli. This black area here represents the lumen, or the center area of the proximal convoluted tubule. Along here, we have the descending limb of the loop of Henle. Here, we have the ascending limb of the loop of Henle. Along here, we have the proximal portion of the distal convoluted tubule. Here we have the distal portion of the distal convoluted tubule. And here we have the collecting duct in yellow. Along the afferent arterial, we have the... We are finally looking at the juxtaglomerular cells, or the JG cells, as they are also known. Along here, we have the macula densa on the distal convoluted tubule. So we have the macula densa, juxtaglomerular cells. The juxtaglomerular cells plus the macula densa makes up the juxtaglomerular apparatus.